Man with the silky step back J, the truth. Paul Pierce and the Boston Celtics go up against the Los Angeles Lakers and their five-time NBA champion shooting guard, Kobe Bryant. Boston, Los Angeles, coming up next. The Celtics continue their journey as they play an interconference matchup on the road. It's Laker basketball at the Staples Center. Beautiful day outside. We are live in downtown Los Angeles. Good Tuesday evening to you and your. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Rondo, Allen, and Pierce for the perimeter. Garnett and Perkins in the middle. And for the Lakers. Kobe and Artest are the wingmen. Howe and Bynum filling up the middle. And Fisher. Even now, Clark, one of the things about seeing the Lakers and the Celtics, you have to think of the great days of magic against Larry Bird. Boy, those two were really something special, weren't they, Kevin? Yes, they were. I mean, just two of the greatest NBA players of all time. Both were in their primes playing for marquee franchises on different sides of the United States, galvanizing fans, creating interest for not only the, the, the passionate, avid fan, but the casual fan as well. It was a tremendous time for anybody who loved basketball at the NBA level. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Guys, I caught up with Doc Rivers for a minute. He's counting on getting a strong defensive performance out of his team today. He said it's something we've come to rely on. Our defense is really where it all starts for us. Let's see what they do, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. And, and Clark, how often do we hear this from coaches? A lot, Kevin. You know that. A lot of times that's all coaches want to talk about is defense. It gets you easy scoring opportunities off long misses, steals, and block shots. and get you in the transition if you defend well. Back to the magic and bird talk. You know, you have Kobe for the Lakers now, but for the Celtics, Clark, it's much more of a team effort, so you don't have that one star to point to. No, that's a great point, Kevin. You're right. Not quite like the bird magic um, Celtics Lakers teams of the past. I think you can point to their captain, Paul Pierce, though. Now I tend to think a little along the lines of Kobe versus Pierce somewhat. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Here's Rondo. He's covered by Fisher. Fisher against Rondo. Garnett up top. Five to shoot. Here's Allen. Again, Allen missing. Ray Allen, even at his age, is still a sight to behold when he takes that jump shot. Yeah, he really is. He's got one of the sweetest jump shots we've ever seen in the history of the game. As pretty a shot as we'll see. And not just because it looks good, it goes in, too. Not a bad foul there, Kevin. You don't want him to get the easy layup. First free throw is good. So with Ray Allen Clark, do you see him being that way for the next few years, a specialist? You know, he's a better all-around player than people have given him credit for. I mean, his shooting is so superb and so special that that's what draws the most attention. But he's a good all-around basketball player. He stretches those defenses, though, with that shot. Yeah, he does. Steve Blake's checked in for the Lakers. And the Celtics making a change here. You know, one of the stories last season, Clark, in the playoffs for the Lakers was after that early scare to the thunder of Oklahoma City in the first round, the Lakers really turned it up in the playoffs. In fact, it was that game five. They kind of rebooted. They kind of found themselves. Yeah, they certainly did. Sometimes you have to have your back against the wall. You've got to go through that crucible of almost losing an important game in the playoffs to be able to get your second win and to gain that extra um, wave of confidence. And that's kind of what happened with the Lakers. I mean, anytime you face a team like the Thunder that has the leading score in the league in Kevin Durant, you know it's not going to be easy. And the Lakers saw that to be true, and yet they were able to work through that. Thunder had those young legs. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of confidence. Yes. And an unbelievable building. Yeah, they didn't that, blink. They did no, not blink. not at all. They were relishing the opportunity, thrilled to be in the playoffs, but they felt like they could beat, not only play with the Lakers, they felt like they could beat the Lakers, Kevin. Now 
That one falls, so he hits both of them. Funny thing, Clark, about this Celtics team last year, they actually won more games on the road than they did at home. You don't see that very often. Yeah, you sure don't, Kevin. I mean, talk about the exception to the rule. I mean, you rarely see that in any sport, especially the NBA, where home court is such a big advantage, typically. I will say this, however, of all the teams that I'd expect to do what you said, win more games on the road than at home, the Celtics would be at the top of the list. Well, they're a veteran group, and you talk about winning on the road, and experience is always a factor. They know how to get it done on the road. The veterans have seen it all. They come in with the right mindset, and they're very rarely easily rattled by opposing crowd. And some changes here for the Lakers. Matt Barnes has checked in for our test, and Derek Fisher is subbed in for Kobe. The Celtics also changing it up. Glenn Davis has checked in for Kevin Garnett. Now here's Rondo. And O'Neal backs in. Gasol with the rebound. A lot of people wrote off Jermaine last year, but he showed he still has something left in the tank. You know what, Kevin? It's all about him being healthy. I mean, injuries have taken him down from the all-star level he used to be at. But he was a big part of the Heat's success, and I thought helped anchor their defense for him. Well said. And here are the Celtics now. After the basket by the Lakers. Tipped by Namano. The jump hook, and O'Neal gets it to go. O'Neal's got his second bucket of the night. Lakers leading by four. Here's Barnes. Here's Gasol. The shot is off. Here comes Rondo. Trailing by four. Pass to Davis. He's up against Gasol. Baseline jumper, and Davis can't get it to go. Smart D forced him into taking that mid-range jump shot, and as you might expect, he wasn't able to knock it down. And uh, let's go to Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have for us? Guys, there were a lot of questions about whether last season would be Phil Jackson's final one, whether he'd retire. After they won the title and he set a record for most coaching championships, he said he was leaning towards retiring. He decided to return, though, saying, count me in. After a couple of weeks of deliberation, it's time to get back to the challenge of putting together a team that can defend its title. It'll be the last stand for me, and I hope it's a grand one. Guys, good to have them back. It certainly is. Thank you, Doris. So the Celtics called timeout their first. Changes for the Lakers. Angus checked in, and it's Odom in for Pau Gasol. Making a switch here are the Celtics. Here's Rondo. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Pass to Davis. And that's good on the layup. Davis has got his first two points of the night. Nice feed. That's the way to keep the ball moving. Lakers leading by four. Fisher, the pass to Odom. Benga sets a pick. Now Garnett defending. Odom against Garnett. Here's Benga. Kept alive. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Here's Rondo. Arcs it high. Here's Garnett. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajan Rondo. Rondo. 